Hello everyone, Justin to Gaming here. In the last episode, we covered set plays to score off the faceoff. So to combat that, I have a basic guide on how to stop these plays on defense. It takes a team effort and each player has their own responsibility and may only have a second to read the play and react. Remember, these tips aren't written in stone and can be modified to fit your team's play style. So let me go through each position and cover what their main assignment is. Starting with the defenseman closest to the goal line. If you see that your team has either lost the draw or your center has been tied up, immediately protect the net. You can then cut off the opposing center and winger by the boards from crashing the net, as well as cut off any cross crease pass should the puck be on the opposite side of the ice. The defenseman in front of the goalie has a very important job and that is to cover the winger in front of him. One of the more popular plays is the tie up cross crease, so watch that winger and see where he goes. If that winger goes directly to the side, you don't even have to move because you're already in the passing lane. If he tries to crash the far post, do whatever it takes to stop him from receiving that pass. The wingers need to communicate on their responsibilities. The easiest way to stop the other team from a tie-up is for the wingers to sprint to the dot and chop the puck away. Instead of both wingers crashing, you can have the outside winger go for the chop, while the inside winger sprints up the ice. The inside winger is not only covering the point man should the face-off be one in his direction, but there's also a slim chance he can pick up the chopped puck and try to get something started. The outside winger can also chop the puck towards his defensive corner, as long as he lets his D-man know to get the puck. As long as you communicate with your teammates, there's many possibilities. Finally, we have the center. Should you ever lose the draw as the center, head to the low slot. If the puck is one to the point, you'll be in good position to stop and give and go pass. Should you lose the draw via the tie-up, there'll be another body to help protect against the backdoor pass. So there is your basic defensive strategy against face-off plays. This isn't everything. I've seen teams with a very fast offensive defenseman going for the chop, so feel free to experiment with other strategies and let me know what you come up with in the comments below. Click that like button if you found this useful, subscribe for more EASHL content, and share with your teammates to help your squad as a whole. I'll leave my Twitter and Twitch links below. I'm Justin to Gaming, and thanks for watching.